Have you ever dreamed of owning multiple restaurants? But not just restaurants. A restaurant business that operates with motivated, powerful, and ambitious employees. A restaurant business that operates with systems, processes, and procedures. A business that allows you to work on it instead of in it. The kind of business that creates freedom for you and opportunity for those that join you on the journey. That is exactly what Yvonne and Wade wanted and that is exactly what they've built with Agave and Rye. But the journey was not a straight line up. I got my first phone call from Yvonne in early 2017. At the time, she was operating two restaurants in Columbus, Ohio, De Novo and Oliver's. Even she would admit that things were a complete mess. And it wasn't because she didn't care. In fact, I don't think I've ever met a restaurant owner that cares more than Yvonne. It was just that she didn't know how to do it better. After working with Ryan for a few months, Yvonne informed me that he was gonna be coming out and spending three days with us. Uh, for the first night, we decided we were going to have dinner at DeNovo, and we were gonna show him exactly how good we were, uh, but that is not what happened. For a Saturday night, the restaurant was empty. Our chef literally fell asleep at the table, and most of the food was prepared wrong. The night was a complete disaster and extremely embarrassing, but it was real and it is what we were dealing with. When Ryan came to Columbus to work with us, I was already managing one of Wade and Yvonne's other restaurants. Um, we all wanted to grow and learn as much as possible. Over 15 years, my husband and I struggled in the restaurant business. It really was hard. We had management, employees stealing from us, uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, and no systems or procedures to follow. We really did think that we were in control because of uh, us being there every single day. I would blame everything that went wrong on our employees and truly believed that they were the problem. It's hard to imagine where we would be today without Ryan's coaching and courses. With his recommendation, we did decide to close De Novo and sell Oliver's just to cover our outstanding tax debts. At that point, we knew that we really did want something different, so we began working on a concept that we felt was truly magical. We researched communities and landed on a quaint area called Covington, Kentucky, just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. We wanted to get this one right from the start. With his help, we uh, literally had a truck full of restaurant furniture, a uh, credit card funding advance. Side note, don't recommend that and very little cash. Ryan, Wade, and uh, myself created Agave and Rye. We thought about every detail from the start, who was our target guest, what price point that they wanted, what they wanted to drink, what music did they want to listen to, and what menu items would really speak to them. Where did they hang out in the community? Everything was done with intention. We did have some great systems to start, before we opened our doors, but then more were written every single day. Day one was madness. We were busy from the moment we opened the doors. Sure, we had our challenges to overcome, but we had systems in place to ensure that our team was creating epic experiences for our guests. Word traveled fast. Within five months, we had been negotiating with an investor who saw the magic in what we created, and he wanted to be a part of it. After the sale, I stayed at Oliver's with the new owners, but eventually rejoined the team here at Agave and Rye in time to help open up their second location. I took over the original location, and Nish helped open our second location in Lexington. Liberty was our third location. All three locations were booming, so we began work on our fourth location in Louisville, which opened up three months after Liberty. And yet again, we had a huge success on our hands. Then COVID-19 hit. We closed for a week and strategized with Ryan. Sure, it's been a struggle, but we were ready for this. We're ready for anything. It's been a wild ride, but we never buried our heads in the sand. We got to work and got creative. While others were shutting down, we opened a completely new concept next door to our original location in Covington, and we're currently sitting in our fifth location for Agave and Rye. It's hard to imagine that all of this happened within three years from the time that Yvonne decided to sell her original restaurants and open a brand new concept. And now we have five locations with no plans to slow down. We are currently working on our sixth, seventh, and eighth locations that will all be open in the next year. The systems and structure we have put into place are allowing us to grow at this pace. It's really amazing to see how well this works. The effectiveness of the way we manage now versus the way we used to manage is night and day. Our team members realize how different it is to work here. We see it every day, 
in their eyes and the smiles on their faces. We see it with our guests and in the media too. It's hard to put a finger on exactly what it is, but they know we are different from other restaurants. They know we care more. We say that we are creating a love brand, a brand that loves our guests, our team members, our vendors, and our community. Before working with Ryan, we were drowning. Drowning in debt, drowning in sadness, drowning in fear drowning in the hours that we were putting in every single day and we just didn't see the results. Before Ryan, we didn't understand the power of systems. We didn't understand the power of accountability. Systems and procedures are what allow me to manage my GMs so they can manage their teams so our staff can do their jobs at exceptional or what we like to call epic levels. Systems are what has allowed me to manage our store openings at such a fast pace, ensuring they are epic events that exceed our guest expectations. I worked with Yvonne and Wade in the original De Novo over 10 years ago. We were really on to something. It's amazing to see what they have built in less than three years. I am honored to be back on the team as a corporate chef for Agave and Rye, and excited about what the future holds for everybody. Ryan taught us those systems, and believe me, those systems are why we are living our dream. And we're having so much fun doing it. Just look around. We get to work with a dream team of people to create fun, new menu items and experiences for our guests to enjoy every day. Five restaurants in less than three years. My name is Ryan Gronfin and I help restaurant owners scale their business. First year, 10% growth. The next two years, 20 and then 20% more. I started taking a paycheck again. I got married, I took off two weeks for my wedding. I took off two weeks for my honeymoon. The first week I got bacon, I uh, got my numbers in. My numbers were about 68% prime cost. After working with bacon for about a month, I got that number down to 58%, which is a lot of money. I was most surprised at how quickly and easily the tools and things that I learned in this class helped me succeed early on in how easy management became. To be able to open up another location, to be an absentee owner, um, you know, from order guides to hiring to onboarding, training, everything. With a program like this, it allows you to put the processes in and then just kind of chill and watch the success happen and enjoy it. enjoyed this week's training video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you go ahead and smash the like button right up there so you can get notified every week when we release a new free training video. I've also gone ahead and put a couple of videos for you here and here that I think you're going to enjoy. Remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value and value creates scale. Manage systems, develop people and be awesome.